Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on Earth. It's time we talk about the last of the Australian territories we'll cover in this series, the Northern Territory. Click on this playlist to watch the entire series. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload three times a week, every week. The Northern Territory is a federal Australian territory in the central and central northern regions of Australia. Despite its large size, covering over 1.3 million square kilometers, making it the third largest Australian federal division and the 11th largest country subdivision in the world, it is very sparsely populated. The Northern Territory's population of 246,000 makes it the least populous of Australia's eight major states and territories, having fewer than half as many people as Tasmania. This means that, on average, you'll only find less than two people per every 10 square kilometers. The archaeological history of the Northern Territory begins over 40,000 years ago when indigenous Australians settled the region. Being so close to Asia, this territory was one of the first to be settled by human beings in those first great migrations. The coast of the territory was first seen by Europeans in the 17th century. The British, of course, were the first Europeans to attempt to settle the coastal regions, but this was no easy task. After three failed attempts to settle the region, starting from 1824, success was only achieved in 1869 with the establishment of a settlement at Port Darwin. The capital and largest city in the territory is Darwin. Darwin's proximity to Southeast Asia makes it a link between Australia and countries such as Indonesia and East Timor, so it's a vital city for the Australian economy. The Stuart Highway, one of the most epic highways of the world, begins in Darwin, ending after 2,834 kilometers in the south at Port Augusta in South Australia, going right through the middle of the continent. Darwin got its name in 1839, when the HMS Beagle sailed into the harbor and named it after one of its former shipmates, Charles Darwin, who had sailed with them on the ship's previous voyage. Throughout its history, the city had to be rebuilt almost entirely four times, following devastation caused by the 1897 cyclone, the 1937 cyclone, Japanese air raids during World War II, and Cyclone Tracy in 1974. Even so, today 60% of the territory's entire population lives in and around Darwin. Kakadu National Park is one of those splendid places you see in documentaries and wish to visit yourself. It's a protected area in the Northern Territory of Australia, 171 kilometers southeast of Darwin. It covers an area of almost 20,000 square kilometers, which is almost the size of Slovenia in Europe. The name Kakadu comes from the mispronunciation of Gagudu, which is the name of an Aboriginal language that used to be spoken in the northern part of the park. The park is crisscrossed by rivers, estuaries, wetlands, hills, rock formations and of course an immense diversity of wildlife. There are also more than 5,000 recorded art sites illustrating Aboriginal culture over thousands of years. The archaeological sites demonstrate Aboriginal occupation for at least 20,000 and quite possibly up to 40,000 years. The territory does contain some green areas, like the Kakadu National Park, but most of it is classified as dry or semi-arid deserts. So it's probably the last place you expect to encounter a regatta, in what is one of the driest areas in the world with less than 28 centimeters of rain a year. It must be said though that this is not a typical boating event. The event is known as Henley on Todd and takes place in the town of Alice Springs. 
It consists of a medley of land-based boat races on the bone-dry Todd riverbed. These range from do-it-yourself dinghies strapped to competitors' shoulders to huge lumbering pirate ships plowing through the red dirt of Alice Springs. It's actually been running for almost 60 years, which makes it one of the oldest, but also the oddest regattas in the country. The tiny town of Delhi Waters, population 9, is about a third of the way from Darwin to Alice Springs. So what is so special about it? Well, for one, it has the most isolated and remote set of traffic lights on the continent, possibly in the entire world. There is no other traffic light within 500 kilometers of the town. It's so remote that you have to wonder what point it really serves in a town where you can count the population on your fingers. But Delhi Waters is also known for having the territory's oldest pub. The historic pub was licensed in 1938 to service passengers and crew from the nearby airfield and it has been in operation ever since. One more breathtakingly beautiful area in the Northern Territory is the Uluru Karachura National Park. It is located 1,943 kilometers south of Darwin by road and 440 kilometers southwest of Alice Springs. The park is a protected area and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the place where you'll find one of the most iconic Australian natural features, the Uluru Sandstone Rock Formation. Uluru is sacred for the Aboriginal people and it's one of the most outstanding Australian landmarks. And it's old, really old, between 300 to 500 million years, possibly more. Karachuta is located just 25 kilometers from Uluru and is equally spectacular and old. The bright red hue of these rock formations is given by the iron oxide that coats them. These were 7 facts about the Northern Territory. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye!